Uh, Scott Gochin with Harper and Whitfield. We're a local CPA firm helping businesses and individuals with their accounting and tax needs uh, and also helping uh, nonprofits um, with their uh, needs as well. Um, good morning. I'm Paul Horowitz with the Center for Living uh, Your Best. Uh, I just opened a business in downtown Simsbury at, on 10 Station Street. Um, my business is a light touch um, healing process that deals with uh, primarily addressing uh, stress and anxiety of any kind, whether it's emotional, physical, other, um, and help balance the systems of the body, which enables healing to occur. Um, it's a sh short process um, and can have tremendous impacts on any kind of stress you have. And I don't need to know what your issues are. If anyone has that kind of you know, concern about sharing with others, it's, uh, I work on what the body tells me and helps address those interferences. Thank you. Good morning. Elaine Groundwater, Coal Banker, Residential Brokerage. Um, I help people buy and sell their homes, move on to their next chapter in life, whether they're moving within the state, out of state, or moving into the state. Um, ask me about our new um, listing concierge. We have a new way of marketing your home so that exposure is the best exposure you'll get anywhere. And um, I'd love to help you out or your friends and just let me know. Elaine Groundwater, Caldwell Banker. Residential brokerage. Good morning. I'm Lou George. Uh, I'm from the law firm of Hassett and George. We're a full service law firm with an office here in Simsbury on Hot Meadow Street and one also in Glastonbury. We service all of Connecticut. One, one area that I think is uh, becoming uh, popular again are refinances. Not only from a residential standpoint, the interest rates are very low, but also from a commercial standpoint, we've seen a lot of business in that area. The rates have dropped and people over the last three or four years that have uh, purchased homes or buildings are now seeing that there is some benefit to that. So I would uh, recommend that you look into it either from a personal level or business level. Am I talking to the camera or the rest of them? I'll talk to you guys. Aaron Averett, I'm with Berkshire Bank. Uh, I'm the manager at the location, but my primary role is actually that of a relationship manager to business owners primarily. Um, we assist with not only business, but personal, um, everything from banking to borrowing to investments. I'll piggyback Lou a little bit and just say that obviously with the recent prime drops, it actually is a really good time to look at your home equities, to look at your business uh, loans and pretty much any, any kind of borrowing. Um, as prime comes down maybe one more time by next year, um, it's the best time to really kind of strike with that stuff. I'd be happy to help. Again, Aaron Averett with Berkshire Bank, and thank you. Good morning, Chris Nelson. Uh, I am a residential builder and developer. We actually have a, we do some special projects, commercial too, um, but we're right down at the Simsbury Grist Mill. We have a couple projects going on right now. The first one is Carson Way, and that's 74, single-family homes in a planned community. It's in the Powder Forest area. Um, and those are, uh, we s actually have five or six under construction right now. So that's actually getting a little bit better. Uh, we also have a rental community called Highcroft Apartment Homes. And we're building more townhomes there for rent. That's going on right now and we'll be opening in the spring. So thanks. Hello, I'm Renee LaCourcier. Whoops, sorry. I'm Renee LaCourcier with Anthology Senior Living of Simsbury. I am so excited to tell everybody we opened yesterday, so we opened up our doors. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you. And as Lisa said, we are having our grand opening next week. I have invitations for everybody. Please come because it's going to be quite the event. So I really encourage you to come and I hope to see you there. Um, Ferg Jansen, uh, Taiyi Management. We consult the clubs, hotels, and restaurants. Um, following up on what Lisa said about the Seward Johnson sculptures, you don't have to spend $2,500 for a sculpture, but we have all kinds of sponsorship 
opportunities where you can be famous, whether you give $100 or $1,000 or somewhere in between that and a million dollars. We need money to pay to get the sculptures in place, to take them out, and to pay for insurance and the promotion to bring people to enjoy Simsbury. So uh, we incur and go to events. If there's a breakfast or a cocktail party, please go, pay at the door, and that helps us uh, support the whole project. Because with the 350th this year, um, it's a big deal. And as Lisa said, we've already got almost 30. But uh, we, people who buy a sculpture, they pay for the sculpture itself. So we need money above that to get them here. So thank you very much. Hi, my name is Charlie Peake. I'm a SCORE mentor based in Simsbury. SCORE is affiliated with the Small Business Administration, and we give free and confidential mentoring advice to small businesses, whether they're pre-startup, startup, in business, or want to sell their business. Um, there are 11,000 volunteers across the country and 300 chapters. The chapter local around here is in Hartford, and Simsbury is one of the branches. Um, we meet three days a, a month at the Simsbury Library, the second, third, and fourth Thursday every month, and run the gamut from helping with business plans, should I be an LLC, a limited partnership, uh, how do I borrow money, tell me about social media, I need help getting my website put together, kind of runs the gamut, and uh, we're delighted to provide that help. I have two other men who work with me at the library, and um, if any of you feel that anything I've said rings a bell with you. I've got some business cards with me. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, Dr. Brett Inlow. I'm the owner and physician at Valley Chiropractic and Sports Medicine, uh, right in the Farms Village Plaza, West Simsbury, across the street from the post office. Um, uh, we've been uh, open for just over three years. Uh, my background is in sports medicine and physical therapy side. Then I became a chiropractor. Um, so I integrate a lot of the different techniques in what I do on a daily basis. I do a lot of manual therapy. I do a lot of adjusting, treat neck pain, back pain, sports injuries. Uh, There's not a whole lot of techniques that I don't do. Uh, this is uh, my office manager, Josephine Schoenhart, um, off office manager extraordinaire. So if there's uh, anything that we can do to help you guys out with any pain, come give us a, come give us a call. Oh, I'm also a Master School alumni, class of 97. Uh, I wasn't going to do a commercial at all, but I, I think I want to do a commercial for the Master School. Uh, my husband graduated from the Master School, was a board member for 20 years, and both my children attended. My daughter did graduate, and I have to say I'm so grateful. We have this gem up on the hill, small class sizes, faculty that are really engaged with your children, and um, just an overall ethos of uh, academic excellence um, coupled with um, integrity and um, preparing our kids for the challenges they're going to meet in the next generation. That's my commercial. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Sawyer with KW Commercial Real Estate. I help businesses buy, sell, uh, lease, or invest in commercial real estate. I work all over the state and do everything from tall, small uh, two-room office spaces uh, to somebody that might want to buy or sell a hotel or industrial facility. So remember, if you have any commercial real estate needs, uh, Bob Sawyer with KW Commercial. Good morning, Simsbury, and happy almost Halloween. My name is Jamie Rice with JQR Capital, an investment advisory and financial planning practice in Granby. At JQR Capital, we serve individual investors and business owners who want to accelerate their progress in saving for retirement or paying for college. So if you or someone you know is feeling lost in the fog, I invite you to visit jqrcapital.com to find your bearings, choose your speed, and chart your course with JQR Capital. Thank you. I'm thankful that you guys are here and I realized something five years ago when I joined the chamber and brought our school into the chamber, I thought it would be a good community thing to do, and it is. But son of a gun, all of a sudden I have 20 friends. I have people that I like, and it's fun to hang out with you guys. And I'm thankful that you came to my campus today. I feel like 
over the years we've got to know each other through Chili Fest and different activities or in after hours or something. And I like doing business with you all. And I was thinking, okay, if I want to build a house, I could go to Chris, he could build it. I could go to uh, Isaac and he could insure it. I could go to Aaron and he could finance it. I could go to Lane and she could help me sell it. And then I could go to close with Lou. And then when I go to retire, I could put all my money at JR Capital and go to Renee and get a place to live. So, I mean, what a... And then if I end up with a back problem, I can go and, you know, Brett and <laughs> they can help me out. Thank you, guys. I feel friendship from you, and I appreciate you being here with us today. So. Good morning. I'm Ben Jordan of Photo Images Company. I'm a freelance photographer, so that means I can come to you. You don't have to be inconvenienced by coming to me. If you own a business, you should have about two photographs, definitely one. The second photograph is one of the front of your business. So when customers are looking for your business, they know what it will look like. The, sec the first is a portrait. So when people go to your website, they know who they, they will be doing business with. It, or, uh, either it should be updated. I can also provide short video clips for you. I hope you will keep me in mind for your future photography needs. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.